it's a debatable topic. So I said uh, I must come well prepared. Since this is an arena of war, and uh, I had promised my daughter that, you know what, for the next talk I give, I'm definitely going to use one of your toys. Luckily, that came in hand with a light, right? So contrary to popular belief, and it makes noise, right? So contrary to popular belief, testing is extremely important. And testing is overrated. Now, my talk is essentially not about going in the wild and trying to be a Rambo or a GI Joe or a commando, deploying code on production, logging into a production server, and changing it. You know what? That's going to get you killed. So don't deploy without testing. Fair enough. Perfect. The point is, ensure that you do not get yourself killed or blowing your head apart by trying to do any manual QA. Right. Now, this is an, uh, it's a story that I'm talking about. It's an experience report. So it makes sense that I share my experience. And uh, if you don't like that experience, you're welcome to come and talk to me later on. All right. So this is a story about an outlook. An uh, outlook towards writing cleaner code where uh, it's not easy. An outlook towards ensuring that we have code quality. I'm sorry, Microsoft. That's, a, that's an awesome picture I found. I just couldn't avoid that one. And an outlook towards customers. How often do we find customers? Are we have, do we have happy customers? Do we like them? You know, do we like to work with them? The morning session's talks were very interesting. They always spoke about, you know, how do we judge a cost for, of a project? How do we not estimate? The bottom line was always there was a customer involved, there was a vendor or a developer involved, but nobody ever spoke about the relationship between them. Should it be good, bad, or ugly? That's the kind of experience report that we're actually going through. So way back in uh, 2007, I co-founded Josh. 2007, I was working for about eight years. I thought, you know what? I think I can do something on my own. Wanted to do something different. Wanted to, I want to do something different. Wanted to see if I can start a company, a very niche company. So we started working in Ruby on Rails. Now, this is very interesting because in 2007,